Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Well, in this video, I'll be talking about the different types of people in our society. Stay tuned to know more about them. This is a life skills video part one. First, um, there are five types of people in our society according to psychology. Well, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm not dividing all those five types of people. I'm just giving you a brief idea about the people's behavior in our society. Fine. So, what is the meaning of life skills? If you listen to the word carefully, life skills, you would find that there are two words, life and skills. So, from this we can mean that life skills are nothing but the skills which we require in our life. Well, friends, Please uh, listen to what I'm gonna say to you in this video because it is very, very difficult to find what all I say in any book. So these are actually all made up by us, by me. Fine? So please listen to it carefully because if you're children, it will be very helpful when you're gonna be adults. You could find out the, 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 the different types of people by how they speak, behave, and how they look too. First, attacking sharks. What is the meaning of attacking sharks? Did you all know sharks? Sharks are always ready for the kill, right? They would never lose the opportunity if they ever see a kill. Uh, a prey, if they see a prey, they would never ever leave it. So just like that, there are people in our society which are almost like the sharks. What do they do? Why are we saying them as sharks? It is because uh, they are actually having a goal and that goal is their prey. They won't ever leave it until they completely devour it. In this sentence, it means um, they won't ever leave that goal even if they have a lot of obstacles to find it. No, no matter whatever comes, they would always be ready to complete their ambition. So it means they have a mindset of I win and you always lose. It means it is their kind of mindset. We cannot do anything about them. Next, avoiding turtles. What are avoiding turtles? They actually have a mindset of I lose, I lose, but you win. I lose, you win. This, this is a short form of they actually sacrifice themselves for others. So of course, if we sacrifice our things for others, uh, surely we would lose, but others would always win. Take this scenario for avoiding troubles. A teacher was asking two boys to write a surprise test. Fine, they are writing a surprise test. Uh, one of the boys is helping the other boy, which the teacher does not know, but the boy who is helping the other one is, is, uh, is not writing as he is saying all the answers to him and, and he did not get enough time. So at the ending, uh, the other boy who was who was receiving help became the first topper in the class instead of the boy who helped him is because um is because the, the boy who helped the other boy didn't actually write even one single answer in his answer sheet so it means he sacrificed his marks for only that single boy next Let's take one more scenario before I say the title's name. Shall we discuss it? There were two builders. Fine, there were two builders. They are the always are in a team. Once they plan to build a very tall building. One of the builders said, um, "We could do this so that the the, the building." Would look more gorgeous and beautiful while the other one said like no 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 it's wrong instead we could do some some other thing like we could um 
We could do that. Means it would be more gorgeous. So it actually means the cunning. It it actually means accommodating teddy bear. It means both of them have have mostly common ideas, but yes, they are mostly common ideas, but. But only some of them are little. I mean, there are some of them are different. So it's in the sense of I lose a little, only a little I lose. But others, oh, even you lose a little. See, I lose a little, you lose a little. But somehow we both together won. I lost a little, you lost a little. We somehow won. Okay. Next scenario, ah oh, yeah, we forgot to take a scenario for attacking sharks. Take this this scenario. Well, I'm just saying for example, but don't ever do it in real life. Even if you think if you're an attacking shark, just be bold if you're an, an attacking shark. Okay, fine. It is. It is like. Um. Yeah. A man was walking. One more man was walking from his side. He called him an idiot. And he called him an idiot. The other man who was who didn't like that is by calling him names. He punched him, saying him, "Why did you call me that?" So he he said, "It's because you're an idiot." The the man who was called who was being called names got very angry. And he also called him names and punched him, kicked him, and everything else. So it means attacking sharks. They're very, 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 very aggressive. Keep this in mind. They're very aggressive. Uh, but yeah, they're aggressive. Yes. Next, let's go about. Could you guess the other animal? What we're gonna discuss in the next one? Yes, it's about cunning fox. How are foxes? They're always cunning. Am I right or wrong? Yes, they're always cunning. So they would always. So there are some people in our society who are always cunning, just like the fox. So that for foxes, which we see in our everyday life, um, they actually we feel like they're kind to us, but they are somehow dividing it. So. I I I think so. It's it's a bit complicated for you guys. Uh, so no, let's just take a scenario instead. Like one one girl found a pen, and one more boy came and told that it was not her pen, but it was his. They started to fight against each other of whose pen is whose. And at last, one more person, a girl, came and said, "One of you take the pen. It's not always necessary to fight for the pen." So, so actually, that person who came in between the fight was negotiating. Fine, they were negotiating. So the the cunning foxes we see are that that cunning lady, that cunning girl, was actually trying to. To stop the dispute, but continue with like it's my pen, it's my pen. So just trying to stop it in a temporary manner, okay? So cunning foxes, or who we see in our society, are actually the people who ne- negotiate for others. All right, got that? Next is the last and the final thing we'll be discussing. Yeah. Can you guess it? Okay, for clue, it's a bird. It's it's a type of bird. It has large eyes and it's always roams in night. It is none other than the owl. It's called as compromising owl. How is the owl? If you have seen the owl closely, it has a three sixty degree vision. It could turn its head in the right in the right side, one eighty degrees, left side. One eighty degrees too. It also has very large eyes for better eyesight. So there are some owls who are around us, always. They're people. Yeah, they are people. 
First, let's see about the meaning of compromise. Compromise means uh, helping others. Helping others means compromising. Okay? Yes. So, mm, yeah. It, it means like they always have the mindset of helping others. They did not care about their goals and they, they did not care about other goals. They only care to help the people. They help to, they, they tend to help the society. Take the best example Mahatma Gandhiji. He, I should really say he's a compromising owl. Is because he actually didn't care about his own goals. He, he didn't care about his family. But he cared for India. And because of that small issue, he helped the whole India to fight for freedom. That's one of the best uh, real life scenarios. Well, friends, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like it, and put a thumbs up. And if you want me to uh, improve in any of my sayings, please write a feedback in the comments below. And we'll also have a part two in the next video. Uh, that is about is about the different ways people talk. Is is the different ways people communicate. So if you don't want to miss that video of mine, that's the the, the life school video part two and the ending part. Please, please press the bell button. The sub just next to the the subscribe button. Well. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Have a nice day and week and month and year ahead.